And welcome back to the Anime and Manga News for the week ending October 6th, 2017. I got a note from Ronald. He is deep in the Amazon right now. Uh, still can't come back and do any more of the news, um, but he promises he's doing important work for whatever government he's actually working for. So we'll find out. Meanwhile, let's move on to the news of the week. Um, starting with some more news about the upcoming Certain Magical Index anime project that is upcoming. Uh, the actually who uh, uh, the editor of Dengeki Bunko uh, teased at an event about it that uh, this upcoming project called A Certain Project 2018 um, is not just index. Qu uh, quote, end quote. I don't know if that means there will be Railgun involved, or if that means there will be other things involved in the Index universe that haven't been involved in the anime up to this point, but more is coming from the uh, Index stuff than we might expect, which is kind of cool. Um, there's already been quite a lot of, of Index and, and Railgun anime so far, so who knows where they're going with that. Um, moving on to some surprising manga news, Go Nagai is going to uh, publish, or, or uh, draw and publish, New issues of a Mazinger Z manga, Gekiman Mazinger Z Hen. Um, these will be coming in 2018. Mazinger Z, one of the classic giant robot anime series uh, and manga series. More is coming straight from the author. Go Nagai is 70 years old and he's still drawing manga, which is pretty darn cool and amazing. Um, this is a manga that uh, they started recently in 2014. Uh, and in, in 2016, but he's coming back and doing more stuff. It actually focuses on Go Nagai's um, uh, life itself, so it's not so much a Mazinger story as a an autobiography, but it is kind of about you know, um, you know, it, it uh, apparently deals with you know Mazinger Z um, uh, in real life, if you will, how how, how he actually um, published, you know, drew and published Mazinger Z. So more Mazinger Z, which is kind of amazing. Uh, not the only example of a manga coming back to life. Uh, Ryoko Ikeda will be drawing new uh, issues of the Rose of Versailles. Rose of Versailles, one of the classic uh, shoujo uh, anime and manga works. Some would argue it is um, the first shoujo anime in the sense that there were certainly anime aimed at girls before uh, Rose of Versailles, but this one really codified the shoujo art style and kind of the approach of shoujo as we're more familiar with it today. And sure enough, Yoko Ikeda is coming back to the classic 70s manga um, coming out actually soon. Uh, the, the first uh, chapter will come out October 20th. Uh, another one on November 5th. They will have a total of 45 pages between the two of them with five pages in color. It's a two-part uh, special chapter uh, which will focus on Rosalie. A, a servant of Marie Antoinette. Pretty darn cool. Uh, this manga started in 1972, and we're getting more of it. Kind of, kind of crazy, um, but pretty awesome. And again, the original author coming back to it. Um, getting back to some anime news, Funimation has announced that they will be releasing all of the My Hime and My Otome anime on home video in January. So My Hime, My Otome, My Otome Zwei, and My Otome Zero, I believe. Um, uh, all anime works in this pretty popular franchise in the 2000s. Uh, coming out on Blu-ray and DVD combo packs January 8th. So pretty quick. Um, there will be, uh, and, and the Maitomi Zero and Maitomi Zwai will be uh, bundled together in one set. So more stuff, or, or you know, the entire My Hime thing coming out, which is nice. You can kind of get everything of the, um, you know, uh, um, everything there, uh, uh, previously released by uh, B Bandai back in the day, uh, now Funimation is getting it all out for us, which is always appreciated. Uh, now moving on to, I always, you know, am looking for new anime announcements, and I usually tend to catch them after they've been announced. <laughs> yeah. um, but now we actually have something. So a, there's a new TV anime coming in January called Beatless, based on a sci-fi novel. Uh, the novel uh, was um, published actually in, I believe, New Type. Uh, yes, the New Type magazine has been serializing this novel. One of those things that doesn't really make it over here into our uh, our English media. 
And, um, yeah, we're going to be getting more of that. Uh, Tokyo Otaku Mode serialized some uh, English versions of that back in 2014. Uh, it's about AI uh, in, in the far future kind of stuff. Um, kind of, uh, I would say, broadly ghost in the shell um, sensibilities in terms of, you know, am I really human questions. Uh, but focusing more on Androids. Um, it was released in 2012. The uh, artist um, uh, named Red Juice did the character designs, or the illustrations, he did the character designs for Guilty Crown, Empire of Corpses, Genocidal Organ, and Harmony. Um, and uh, the interesting thing here is that, well, some of the interesting thing is that the director will be Seiji Mitsushima, who directed Full Metal Alchemist, Expelled from Paradise, and Gundam Double O, um, with uh, Tatsu Takahashi and Go Zappa in charge of series composition between the two. They worked on Idolmaster Cinderella Girls, uh, Rewrite Era Manga Sensei, Bridge of the Starry Skies, and Kohime, Kohime Muso. Pretty darn cool there. Character designs by, by Hiroki Yaguchi of Ungo and Aikatsu. So, um, pretty high profile you know, folks working on that. Pretty cool to see some more anime coming, uh, especially more kind of you know, sci fi stuff. Pretty nice. Uh, finally, a bit of kind of industry news, if you will. There was an announcement this week of a new company formed called Akatsuki Entertainment USA, which is a, a, a subsidiary of uh, Akatsuki Inc., which is a smartphone game developer in Japan. They're forming this uh, subsidiary in Los Angeles with the plan to develop uh, film adaptations of Japanese works, including manga, anime, and novels. And they talk about how hard it has been for Hollywood to actually make live action adaptations of things because it's been so hard for them to work with the, the with the creators and the staff and to get something that kind of makes everyone happy so they are setting themselves up as intermediaries also interesting they're focusing on small to medium budget hollywood hollywood films so less than 100 million dollars basically which is kind of an interesting uh, target for anime live action adaptations we've typically seen big budget ones so seeing something that is targeted that but going to be anime, which typically is pretty, you know, high-budget special effects stuff. Interesting to see how that goes. Uh, and so hopefully this will bring about, uh, uh, you know, more exposure of anime over here. And uh, let's just be honest, adaptations to make everyone happy. They the, the specific quote is, uh, Negotiations can often be complicated, and many film adaptations fail to materialize. So they're hoping to fix that with, again, sort of an intermediary company between themselves or between Hollywood and the Japanese creators. So here's hoping that works. We will find out. Um, but uh, that is all the news for this week. Thank you all for joining me. More news next week as always. And until then, please watch more interesting anime.